Hello and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my top colouring tools. These are essential products that I use every single day in my colouring and I definitely could not do what I do without them. They're all really quite cheap, none of them are expensive and yeah they're just essential to me to what I do so I thought you'd like to see what I consider to be my top tools. So I'll start off with erasers. Now as you can see here, this is a Derwent battery eraser. So it's battery powered with two AAA batteries, which last quite a while. And on the side here, it has a button, which when you press it, rotates the eraser on the end. It's very powerful, very, very fast. And it's really good for lifting more pigment off the page than you'd be able to get with a normal eraser. So um, it can almost take the page back to white in some cases. It's really good, really powerful. Uh, the eraser refills are also available. They're about that long when you get them new. And it's really easy to replace. You just pull out this silver bit here, pull out the eraser, put it back in, and put it back in, and it grips it so it's not going to fall out or anything like that. So yeah, use that very, very often on every single project really. So I love that. This is for more intricate details. So this is a Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. It works a little bit like a mechanical pencil. So you give the top a few clicks and out comes this very, very tiny, ultra fine 2.3 millimeter eraser. So this is for maybe when you've gone outside the lines and you just need to get right up to the edge of that line it's just incredibly fine and very easy to get into tiny spaces. So those are the erasers I use on a regular basis. The next product is an aqua brush. Now these come in all shapes and sizes and all brands and costs. So um, basically just get anything you can find really, anything that's within your budget because they all do the, the same job. Some of them can leak and things, so do look at reviews first. But this one is a Cure, I can't read that, Cure Kurotaki, I think it Kurotak. It's a Japanese brand anyway, and it's pretty good. It's really cheap. And the reason I use these instead of water and paint brushes with my watercolour pencils is because obviously it's quite cumbersome to keep getting out a pot of water and different brushes and things. And also because sometimes with brushes you can um get too much water on it and it's difficult to tell whether you've got the right amount of water. But this has a speckle, a speckle, a special mechanism which only lets through a very, very small amount of water at a time. So you're not going to saturate or flood your page and uh, it's not going to make your paper buckle unless you use too much. But at the same time, if you did want more of a flow, you can squeeze this chamber here which will send out more water. So it's just really handy to have something that's pre-filled with water that you can take with you and do some painting with those watercolour pencils. My next item is any type of black fine liner. These Pigma ones by Sakura Micron are my favourites because they're permanent once on the page. So they're absolutely perfect for adding details to your colouring pages. If you maybe wanted to add some detail into flowers or etc, you can do that with these kind of pens. So also they're really good for um, if you have coloured over an image, maybe with some coloured pencils, and it has uh, desaturated the black lines. So for example, say that you've got a white crayon and you've been colouring a flower petal and it's gone onto the black outline and just washed it out of it, you can then use these to go over those outlines and make it more stark and contrast. So yeah, excellent tool for that. The next things I use are pencil extenders. Now these again come in all different shapes and sizes and they are perfect for when you have a pencil that looks a little bit like this. So it's coming to the end of its life, it's quite difficult to colour with because you obviously haven't got the length there to rest on your finger um, and yeah you just need something to lengthen it a bit. So this one here works by just sliding your pencil inside to whichever length you desire and then you slide the ring right up to the top and that closes in on the pencil, grips it and allows you to then colour more easily. So this is quite a, a narrow one if you'd enjoy colouring better with narrow things. This is quite a chunky one and this works by pushing the bottom until the top comes out in a sort of strange spring way and once you've done that you can then slide your pencil in you let go and again it's gripped your pencil so really it just depends on whether you like uh, 
colouring with chunkier things or very narrow things because some people find different things more comfortable. But both work excellently well and there's loads of other types and styles as well but that's just an essential tool for when you've run down your colouring pencil but you've still got lots of life left in it. The next thing is a blender pencil. Now these are absolutely incredible for flattening out your colour. Um, you know when you colour with coloured pencils and you get those streaks and those lines and it just doesn't look smooth at all? If you just apply a colourless blender over it, and it's exactly the same as a pencil, it's not sharpened at the moment, but it's exactly the same format as a pencil, so you just colour over it exactly the same, and it flattens out um, the tooth of the paper, which then makes the colour, the pigment, really, really smooth, so it takes out all of those lines, and also it can make the colour more saturated as well when you apply a colourless blender. So this is brilliant for backgrounds when you don't want it to be just all streaky and horrible, you can go over the whole thing with a colourless blender and it becomes very, very smooth. The next product I use is a white gel pen. This particular one is a Uniball Sino, and this is the only one that I use because I find it performs the best. It never stops or stutters, it has a really thick ink flow, and it's very opaque as well, so it can go over anything that you've coloured and it will still be really um, white and show up really well. So this is perfect for highlights, like in the eyes, glints in the eyes, um, or maybe if you're doing gems and crystals and you want those um, highlights on the edge, this is perfect for that. The final item that I want to show you is my sharpener. Now this is the only one that I use, it's a Tegal made in Japan and it is a multi sharpener so that means that you can sharpen your pencil to all different types of length depending on how hard or soft your pencil is. So for example this one goes from one to five and I have five pencils to show you which have been sharpened with all of the different settings so I'll just straighten these up. So this is one through to five. Now number one and two is ideal for those pencils that are really soft and really expensive like Prismacolors because you can sharpen them till the cows come home but you're just reducing and reducing and it's just not very economical for your wallet. So these first two settings are what I use on my Prismacolors because they stop you um, losing so much wood and you can just um, get a small point which is less likely to break. Then for your harder pencils, you can go right up to five, which is a really long and strong point. So this is an incredible tool for anybody that's got coloured pencils because you can change and adjust the length of the point depending on what kind of pencil core you've got. And that just turns around like that. Super simple and all the shavings get collected in here as well. So I'm going to link to all of these products in the description for you to go and have a look at and I really hope you've enjoyed having a little sneak peek into things that I use every day with my colouring and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.